when you blow a zucchini up in your microwave, what do you do? You share it on the internet. All right, boom. I hear things crackling over here. This is the story of my life. If I could just pound it every time and it works, I'm good with that. It boomed pretty, pretty darn loud. Mine's a battleship right now. Didn't plan on making a video today. My hair's in my eyeball. And I really hope I didn't break my microwave. This is just crazy. Cooking with Michelle, you don't want to miss this. Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm making dinner. I'm not doing too much today, but I just wanted to share this with you because I blew up the zucchini in my microwave. I'm making stuffed zucchini and I thought, you know, you know how the zucchini has to get tender and so you could cut it and get all the gunk out. Evidently, I left it in there for too long because let me show you. Yeah. So if you're uh, making stuffed zucchini and you need your zucchini cut in half, uh, yeah, the whole thing exploded. The whole microwave turned off and everything. I thought maybe I broke my microwave. Guess what we're having for dinner? Blown up zucchini. I mean, hey, you can't, you can't beat that, can you? When this cools down, because it's really hot, I'll get it out of here and we'll carry on. I wasn't planning on making a video today, but when you blow a zucchini up in your microwave, what do you do? You share it on the internet. So let, let's let's do that. What I'm actually making is stuff, stuffed zucchini. I hope if we can salvage the zucchini. And I really hope I didn't break my microwave because it boomed pretty, pretty darn loud. So in my Instapot over here, I have deer meat in here sauteing. That's gonna be the filling along with some of the zucchini, I hope. And with that, I'm gonna add just a little bit my dehydrated onions, maybe about just a little, just a little garn in the pot. I can't believe I did this. Cooking with Michelle, you don't want to miss this. Don't you wish you were here? So we're gonna just stir this around. Probably should add some salt to this, just thinking. Again, the salt, it's sticking. I'm glad my husband wasn't here to hear that big old boom. I am really glad he wasn't here. There's steam in my salt, that's probably why it's sticking in there. That's okay. If I can just pound it every time and it works, I'm good with that. What'd you do today, honey? Nothing. I didn't do nothing today, why? Had a good day. I think that we ought to put a little garlic in here too. See, didn't plan on making a video today. My hair's in my eyeball. We're gonna add some garlic. Probably just a spoonful. Plop that right down in there. Let me show you what else we might have. I picked these from the garden. Green beans and look at them. They're purple. Can you see that, the purple one there? Isn't that cool? These are called dragon's tongue green beans and they taste pretty good. Very similar to a regular green bean. Probably ought to stir the garlic while I'm here. Now, normally I do this with sausage, but since I don't have any sausage right now, we're gonna just use this deer meat that I have. We'll just keep letting this saute. I'm gonna get the zucchini out of the microwave and see if I can salvage it. I brought the whole glass tray and all. Oh my goodness. Let's see if we can salvage the zucchini. I think it's salvageable. It's really hot right now. So I'm gonna just cut it in half. Can you see this? This is, this is the story of my life, you know? This is just crazy. Let's move you down. Shell blew up a zucchini in our microwave today. Normally I do soften the zucchinis this way, but this time I don't know what happened. You know what? I have a new microwave. I've never done it in this microwave. Maybe the microwave power is just stronger. Look at this. It's really hot. Let's just go with the cut, shall we? We'll just, oh, there, see? I think it's salvageable. I do. <laughs> it cut awfully easy, didn't it? 
So let's just cut part. Yeah. Okay. All right. Boom. We'll just set that one right there. Let it cool down a little bit because it is awfully hot. I hear things crackling over here in the instant pot, so we just moved over here. I think this is done. So to this, I'm going to add this spaghetti sauce. Can't open the jar. There we go. We're just going to add this spaghetti sauce. Now, I usually put a little bit of water in this to rinse, the, rinse out the rest of the sauce. And then we'll shake it up. And just add the rest in there. We'll give it a stir. And we'll go back over to our zucchini. Our lovely zucchini. Oh, I got the zucchini out of the garden. Did I tell you that? That came from the garden. Alright, that's good enough for now. Let's turn this off. Because we really, I don't need this to cook. So we'll turn this off and we'll go back over to the blown up zucchini. I really honestly was not going to make a video today. Now for this part, all you need is a spoon and a soft zucchini. So what we're going to do, let me move you back just a hair bit. What, what, what we're going to do here is some of this is seeds and string. We don't want that. Well, some of it's okay. That's okay. The other one we'll have to see. And what you want to do is just scrape out the meat part of the zucchini. And that, what we're going to end up doing with that is putting it over there in that instant pot and mixing it all together. Now be careful when you scrape this because you don't want to scrape it all the way through because then you'll have a mess. And when you eat this, you can eat the entire thing. I normally do. All right, let me let me take care of this. One. So this one is done. Let me go set it in my pot. This one, this see, this is done. That's all you have to do, scraping it out. All right, let's deal with this one now. Now I'll take all the seeds out of here, lightly, just lightly scrape so the seeds come out. I might as well just put them right here because that's where the rest of them are, right? Because you, you don't want to really want to have the seeds in there. If you like seeds, you can eat the seeds. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but I would rather just not have the seeds in there. So we're going to lightly scrape that out. And then again, we're going to do the same thing. Just get some of the meat out of this zucchini. Not a lot. I mean, you want to. We're making a boat, is what we're doing. Does we keep a boat? That's probably good. Now, when I eat this, I'll eat it all. Rob, Rob, bump. We made another boat. Or a submarine, in my case. Battleship. It's submarine. Mine's a battleship right now. So, this has a little bit of juice in it, in the bottom. And normally, if you don't cook it this long, it's a little bit chunkier. But since mine cook in the microwave for an extremely long time, it's a little mushier. Back over here now. So I'm just going to add this in the pot and stir it up. Just give it a stir. You want to have it combined really well. And like I said, normally it's a little bit chunkier when you don't cook it so long. All right, so now here comes the stuffing part. Let me move you back a little bit. Stuffing, stuffing. We're gonna stuff this thing now. It's really, really simple. I've got my measuring cup here. And just take a scoop and pour it in. Just fill, it, fill them up. You could add probably whatever you wanted to the this. Have a side of spaghetti, you know, whatever you wanted to do. There, how's that look? So we've used all of that, so this, this is done. We're done with that. So now we have stuffed zucchini that I am going to add mozzarella cheese to. So I have Italian style cheese here, and we're just going to 
cover the top. Now you can also do this on a cookie sheet. I've done this on cookie sheets. Cover it with foil, cook them, and they're really good. I had this pan out, so I thought I might as well just do it in this pan that already has a lid. There you go. So now I'll pop that in the oven when Rob gets home, probably 375 for maybe 30 minutes. It's going to cool down. If I was going to put it in the oven right now, I would. it's all hot. I would just let the cheese melt. But since Rob's not home yet, he missed the great explosion, I'll just cover this and put it in the oven when he gets home. All right, stuffed zucchini. Blowing up stuffed zucchini. I will be back when I get this out of the oven. All right, this is done. Looky there. Doesn't that look good? It smells good. The cheese is melted. We are going to go eat this. Hope you like my video. Not planning on making a video today. Making a, making a, yeah. Okay, can't talk either. All right, if you like my video, subscribe. Come back for more. Who, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen in this kitchen next? Bye. Mm -hmm.